Check it out folks, a quick video from Dr. Cos. I have my FD91 gas leak detector. The neighbor called me over to do a quick spot check and um, I love my neighbors, so I thought I'd bring out the 91 to do a spot check. I started with their backyard, their pool gas line. Their pool gas line, folks, and I'm just going through each connection on the gas line. And as a matter of fact, you will see right now, I did register a leak at that junction where the turn on, turn off union is, folks. Um, I've got several thousand parts per million. You can see it now going up of methane, of natural gas being detected. And I did report that to my neighbor. I was very surprised. They didn't actually mention they could smell anything out there because um, if it's in the outdoors, it doesn't accumulate like it would indoors. So the chances of actually smelling a gas leak outdoors, it's much less than it would be indoors, folks. And this is a great example. They never told me there's a gas leak out there, but I, I found one immediately within five minutes of testing. Then I went inside. Um, this is actually a new stovetop. I didn't expect to find anything here. They did not mention there's any smells, but I did want to double check to make sure everything is hunky-dory. I went to each burner and spent some time checking each burner and also the oven. Um, while I was there, I thought it'd be a good idea to double check everything. And I like to go through all the different um, key points twice, folks, twice, okay? It's very important to do that twice, and it's very important to be patient. Make sure the windows, doors, there's no um, microcurrents or any turbulence, windows, and things like that that may dilute any leaks. You want to make sure all your doors and windows are closed. Now, then I went on to the garage. The garage is where the hot water system resides. Um, they did actually mention they can smell something in the garage and um, you'll see right now the numbers quickly going up, bang, and I found another leak at the connection of the um, gas supply line to the main line and um, I was again very surprised, very sensitive as you could see the FD91 does not disappoint several thousand parts per minute, it's quite a considerable leak and actually what surprised me here is that um, after this, you'll see that I did do a soapy test leak, but I didn't see any bubbles blowing out. And um, I was very surprised. So you get a sense of how sensitive in parts per million a gas leak detector could be as compared to a soapy gas leak detection methodology, folks. All right, then we proceeded outside to the beautiful little grill area that my neighbors have built they built this just a few years ago with a nice stainless steel grill i just thought i'd do a quick spot check of all the burners here um they did not testify that there is any smells of natural gas but they did say there is a smell when they open the cabinet so i thought i'd go down there and there are some telltale signs look at the corroded gas line so there's something going on there and i did register bang a leak at one of the elbows you could see the numbers going up it wasn't high or i would say it wasn't um what i'm detecting did not trigger the fd91 alarm but that's the point here that's why it's important to purchase a gas leak detector with parts per million digital display folks so you could see at the low level the fidelity of the low leaks and i did report that to my neighbor and then on the way out i just thought i'd check the um the main gas meter i'm checking all the junctions i didn't register anything so that was good that's very good all right folks look i'll leave it at that um, i hope you guys have a good long memorial day weekend and i hope you like this type of demonstrative video real life video of our products especially when it comes to gas leak detection look till then be well be safe and see you very soon